Welcome back to Rockman Crystal. So we have eight bosses now. You're taking Tunnel Rhino, that's a natural starting point. Mega Man X3, almost at zero. You'd think, but this is actually one of the hardest levels in the game. Ooh. As we already are starting off with the gimmick of destructible walls, which don't really do anything, but they're there. Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> they fly now, they're very dangerous. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, some of these uh, X3 enemies have gotten some uh, upgrades. You have no idea, Simon, how much I wanted to follow that up with Here Comes Pac Man. <laughs> What did you? <laughs> Just trying not to make the obvious joke. I see the wall jump is uh, existing and functional. As yes. that guy's shield. Why did I trust you? You said something about eventually getting a third charge shot level. Oh, well, uh, I may have been a bit too hopeful with that. I see, so you won't get it, you just wish you had it. <laughs> I definitely do wish I had it, because a lot of these enemies have a lot of health. Well, fortunately, the special weapon you will get from this boss will... I appreciate that dude just spawned in once I managed to get him off the screen. Whoops. Are there upgrade capsules in this game? In a very, very loose description, yes. So you get them and then your charge shot is crap, so like Mega Man X3. Also X8 for some reason. I mentioned that I'm playing it right now. Well, it's one of the only games I've ever seen where you have to puzzle out what the upgrades actually did. Huh. God, I just appreciate how much stuff is just kind of thrown in. Ah yes, our first checkpoint. If you touch those, you respawn at them. But there's also regular checkpoints, so I don't even know why they're there. Well, to tell you that this is now a checkpoint, that's nice, isn't it? I appreciate the legacy collection of Mega Man's as well, where it's just like, checkpoint safe in the corner, and I'm like, ah, thank you, good to know. <laughs> I especially appreciate it because it tells me how fucking crappy the checkpoints in Wild 2 and Mega Man 10 actually are. Could you stop sucking against the intro boss again? I swear to god I've seen this thing before, but I cannot remember where it's from. Why would you think that this is not an original sprite they made for this game? I don't know, but something about it just feels like I've seen it before. Maybe it's just a design people use a lot. Yeah, I'm sure it's nothing. Reminds me of that Mega Man 7 boss only thing. Bin Valley 3, I think it is. But that's probably not what it's from. I appreciate how it was attacking you as it died. Yes, I also appreciate that I had to loop back in order to get the camera working. Cleverly hidden, I must say. Good on you for solving that puzzle. Is there like a wiki for this game which you consulted? You can be honest. Yes, it would. Yes, I have to consult my uh, my Zook Hero wiki, aka my brain. Oh my god, so you finally do have the tri triple charge shot. More like a two stage, I'm just now up, uh, up. I'm now basically the equivalent of an unupgraded X. It's great. Well, there you go. Why were you so cagey about it? Finally, the game is playable and good. <laughs> now I do two damage with the charge shot instead of one. Meanwhile, I could just fire pellets at people and do way more damage. Well, Mega Man 7 knows that having a charge shot with two uh, pellets is just fine, so I don't know why you're complaining. Also, most of the time, the charge shot doesn't actually load properly. Okay, I wasn't- I didn't notice this before, but I appreciate the- I think it's supposed to be a circuit board or something, but on some of the platforms it looks like there's just small replica cities on them. <laughs> well, I mean, it is the city stage, both would work. Maybe the platforms are just transparent, have you thought about that, smart guy? No, that's definitely not it. <laughs> I like that this guy cannot bend his knees, so his design is pointless. Maybe Tunnel Rhino was just really into, uh, like, a uh, little model building. Wow, that was quick. Uh, well, it's not much of a tunnel, isn't it, now? It's basically the exact same stage as the intro. 
Yes, a gigantic hodgepodge that makes little sense. Exactly. Though, I gotta say, what I do find a little bit weird is that you do have all the trappings of a Mega Man X game, but no dash. You are very... Endeavor. But the game is over. I can't let you fall my work. Go hell. <laughs> Go hell, Tildy. Oh my god. <laughs> I appreciate that he looks nothing like his mugshot. I appreciate that this is obviously not a, a, a stolen sprite because that would look far better if they had just copied it. I'm just appreciating just how it's designed. It's just man with giant cannon nose. A laser beam that is completely non-threatening. So it is Blizzard Buffalo after all. I didn't Ex mention it, but it reminded me a bit of Blizzard Buffalo, what with the frozen over stuff. Except without the uh, AI exploit. It's not really an exploit, it seems to be that's how he's designed. He's a better boss than Blizzard Buffalo then. He doesn't have a ramming attack as well, he just has a walking into attack. So it's a better boss than Darkman in Mega Man 5. That's the power of the Game Boy Advance for you. I still never understand why that hurts you in most video games. Oh no, I walked into you. Have you ever been kneed by somebody? That hurts. No, every video game protagonist has crippling social anxiety. So that the nerds playing can identify with them. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, listener. <laughs> oh, uh, thanks for showing me my weapon, I guess. Well, it's quick and to the point. You got a laser now, isn't it awesome? <laughs> Go hell.